Hello. Welcome back. Are you guys, you guys want to help me put some inventory? What? I'm hoping somebody shows up and helps Grandma Beans put this stuff away. So grab yourself something to drink. I have coffee. I also have water for backup. And I have like, I don't know, 30, 40 items here. And I really don't want to put them away, but I will have to. So therefore, I was like, let's have a pop-up sale and see if we can get rid of anything. So if you are interested, the email is in the description box below, as well as all the information and links to my website. Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook, and eBay, if you are interested. Most of this stuff is listed already on all of the sites. Some of it, maybe not. Like I said, I have a lot, I have a lot of stuff. So I don't know if you can see, I tried to put the email over here for you guys. And you know what? Let me put it right off the bat in the chat. First, let me say hello to everybody. Make sure I'm in... Not using caps lock and yelling at everybody. And I'm just going to type in my email address. Oops, missing one. Missing something. And if need be, we will uh, put it up, keep putting it up randomly if needed, if anybody shows up and uh, needs the email. So I take PayPal and, you know, all forms of payment. So um, we don't have to worry about that. You guys just send me an email and we will get all the pertinence out of the way. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Wonderful day. I have these skunks. You guys, I have so much stuff that um, I need to start getting rid of it. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of so much room. So I have two skunks. We're just going to sit here and chit chat until hopefully somebody shows up and um, is interested. And then uh, if not, I will put a preview and we'll have another set. I'll just post a preview. And then maybe we'll get more viewers. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I love these skunks. They're adorable. Look at those faces. I don't see any maker's marks on these anywhere, you guys. Look at that one. Doesn't he look sleepy? Oh my gosh, he's so stinky cute. So I don't, like I said, I don't see any maker's marks or chips or cracks anymore. Sometimes you have to be. You guys know you have to be super careful. Some places are a little dark and you don't see repairs until you get them home underneath the lights. And then you find out that the tail or something has been glued back on, which has happened many times. And you are going to pay to make mistakes. But um, you guys, try not to. Look your stuff over super, super carefully. Look at this one. Aren't they cute? He's about three inches long, probably. Um, actually, no. They're close to five inches long. They're more like three inches tall. But they will fit in. You guys, I like to ship USPS. And I've got um, multiple boxes over here. Obviously not all taped. <laughs> Obviously not all taped. But I have multiple boxes over here so that you guys will know what they fit in. And I have my scale here to let you know what it weighs approximately. So you have a kind of an idea what you will be paying for shipping. So the two skunk weigh <coughs> 10 ounces, not even a pound. So with the box. And you know, I'm just like, 
wasting time. Hoping somebody shows up and wants to visit and chit chat. So with the box, without, it goes up to a little bit over a pound. So with all of our, I'm going to put it to one to two pounds. And it'll be in a smaller seven by seven by six box. They go in a small, smaller box. So you won't have to pay as much for shipping. And so, like one, I love USPS. They're great. They're great for shipping. So yeah, small box. Aren't they cute? Super adorable. Super adorable. We find so I have to set them back down now, and it's like a puzzle. Once you take them out of their spot, it's like they don't go back. So you have to move things around. <laughs> and if you missed something, we can always go back to it. No big deal. No big deal at all. So I have, um, I have a few tins. For sale also here is a small one serve us there's no top on it this is a mustard you guys you guys already saw that before I even had to put my glasses on serve us mustard red and white corporation distribution is that a service? It is. Says it. It is says. It does say service. Maybe the other side looks better. Here's the bottom. But I love the color that is red, and it is the red and white store, and it's super adorable little tin. Couple inches. About three inches tall, and you guys, this is so weighed nothing. It'll weigh nothing, so we can put it in a very small box. Just wrap it up and protect it very good. I just I love these tins. These older tins are I just they're great for display. Um, I have a few of them, and then I have more that I just I just couldn't reach them. They're up too high. No laughing. I just want to write this down. Mustard. Um, yeah, they're a little too high, and I can't reach them, so I have to wait for somebody else. But it is a Maxwell House coffee tin and a Crisco tin. And I believe, what is going on over here? Okay, I have that on silent. Okay, so what else do I have to show you? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just, I'm going to pick them up randomly. Hopefully, one of you guys like what you see. The next thing we have is this. I will show it to you, and then I will write this stuff down. I guess I should have put it in the description box first. So this is item number three. It is a tumble up, hand painted. Um, there is a sticker on it right here. It says home essentials. No chips or cracks. This is beautiful, you guys, beautiful. So I will put in number one, we're set of skunk. Whoopsies, that's not right. <laughs> number two, 
was the little red and white mustard can. So we will get that written in the chat. I'm sorry, you guys. This is number three. Uh, so number two, red and white mustard can. And like I said, we can go back to, to these. This is uh, number three, a tumble up. They're, uh, they're for your nightstand. This is about eight inches tall. And this is number three. Hand painted. I will let you hopefully admire the beauty of this while I am trying to type one handed tumble up. Does not have an M after it. Tumble up. If you guys are interested in any of this, um, we have email in the description box below as well as in the chat. And I will write, get all the information written down. Amen. Whoops. Number four. is this bell. I guess it was a little dustier than I expected. Dust is free, you guys. Dust is free. Um, This is a blue bell, obviously, right? It's a paperweight. It says... Hold on. Pioneers of America... Telephone, telephone, telephone pioneers of America. There are no chips or cracks. This is a paperweight. It is blue. And this is number four, a blue bell. Um... Uh, number oh, all my chat thingies are messed up I didn't put the prices in so this is number four and it is the blue bell glass glass bell you guys <laughs> not doing so great hi you are here <laughs> hi Tammy welcome I'm so glad you showed up so number four is the blue glass bell, and I am going to ask $6 for it. And uh, if there are more than, if anybody wants it, if there's more than one person, then um, we take offers. And we take offers. And again, like I said... Uh, no chips or crafts, and it says Telephone Pioneers of America. And again, it will fit in one of the 7x7x6 seven by seven by USPS boxes, and it'll stay under the two pound. So the tumble up, which was number three. Price for that was twelve dollars because that is not written in there either. And I will show that one one more time. Just so we can get caught back up and I can make sure that the prices are in there. Twelve dollars tumble up. Now again, all these we accept offers. No chips or crafts. And it's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's a favorite piece of mine. And truthfully, I wanted to keep it. 
Okay, the number two is the mustard can. Whoopsie, that is not how you spell mustard can. <laughs> this is going to start off at, um, I'm going to ask $5 for these. But again, we take offers. There is no top. And it's red and white. And again, the very first item, please let me go back. Tammy, you're going to love these. Tammy, you're going to love these. How do you spell that? Not like that, Tracy. Are the skunk. They're the very first items I showed. Now, I said I was asking $12 for these. They stay under the two-pound mark, and they fit in the 7x7x6 seven by seven by box. Again, asking $12, but we do take offers. No maker's mark. They're in beautiful condition. Super cute. Number five is this spoon stand. Spoon stand. Kind of sounded a little funny. <laughs> Those are so cute. The, the skunk. Oh, whoops. I never wrote it down. Oh, my gosh. I wrote it down, and I never hit enter. I'm not doing very good at this. Skunk. Twelve dollars. Enter. Everything is up for offer. Here is a spoon stand. It has remnants of the sticker. Well, actually, the sticker is still there, but you can't read it. Now um, it holds four spoons, and it's super adorable. I have seen only one. Excuse me one other one of these and it actually had salt and pepper shakers that sat on top it did not have a little uh, animal or anything on top but so this is but so where did i put my oh my gosh i lost my tape measure oh, how's that possible well so anyway this is approximately six inches and it will also fit in the very small box, and it stays under the two inch. And this is, I will hold it, this is number five. Rooster, or, yeah, rooster spoon stand. And I'm gonna ask $6 for him. Not all that easy doing um, one-handed. There, number five, rooster spoon stands. This stands six dollars. Spoon stand. Set this one off to the side. And again, if anybody wants to see anything again, I will be happy to show you. Rooster spoon. Number six, like I said, this is a pop-up sale. All um, The majority of this stuff is on all of our sites, which the links are down below in the description box. Um, but this is a pop-up sale. So you can get them cheaper today than you can get them on any of our sites. So why not grab them today? So I don't have to put them away anymore. So number six is, This blue bud base, can you see the control bubbles? Aren't those beautiful? Uh, so this will be number six. Blue bud base. Oops, sorry. Blue bud 
Oh my gosh, I need my glasses. With blood base. And we're going to start this one off at nine. Nine dollars. And again, and again, do not be afraid to make an offer. This is, look, here's my tape measure. You guys, thanks for bringing it back. So this bud face is eight inches tall, and that rooster stand is approximately seven inches tall. We'll put this right here so nobody takes it again. So blue bud base, nine dollars. Number six. Again, there's no uh, there's no chips or cracks, no maker's marks, and I believe it's hand blown. I don't see any seams, and it has a highly polished bottom. It's so pretty, so pretty. Also, we have, we might as well stay right over here. Let me grab it. Sorry for reaching over, guys. <clears throat> we have this Fenton. <laughs> I will moderate for you. Thank you so much, Tammy. I do need a moderator. Okay, so this is a Fenton Silver Crested Compote. I've not found any maker's marks on it yet. But that does not mean they're not there. It just means that I can see. This is beautiful, beautiful. Silver crusted compote candy dish. Some people, in, maybe you want to put some fruit in it. So this will be number seven. Number seven. Fenton compost. Um, how come I'm not writing it down? I mean, I'm not putting it in the chat. So I believe today you can get this for $12. $12 today. And that is number seven. So thank you so much. You're the, you are awesome, Tammy. Now I don't have to write that in there. And again, I put the email in, in the very top of the chat. If anybody is interested, just send me an email and I will send you a PayPal invoice or an invoice. Number eight. And if you see something you want, just mark it sold in the chat. The number and sold. Not the amount, just the number and sold. Okay, so what do I want to show you guys now? I have so many things in front of me. And what time is it? It's 1 o'clock. And I don't really have a whole lot of stuff to do today. Except put inventory away, and I really don't want to do that. So, how about number 8? Owl Salt and Pepper Shakers. They have no bottoms, but you can very easily get quartz anywhere. Can you see the little holes? There we go. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks or any maker's marks anywhere. So we're going to start these little fellas off at $6. So number eight, Owl Shakers. Six dollars. These are two days prices only. Coffee break. I hope you have your be kind coffee because I always have it. Okay, number nine is this amber 
button and daisy top hat. This is Fenton. Did I say Fenton, button and daisy? This is so cute. Adorable. I love these. And we will start this off at $9. Fenton top hat. Um, amber. Nine dollars. Daisy and button. Um, some of them, there are so many patterns, it is very difficult for me to remember what is what. But I'm pretty sure that is what that pattern is called. It's a daisy and button. Super cute. It would look very pretty with a battery operated tea light in it. Maybe some fairy lights. You could put an air plant in it. Perfect vessel for an air plant. Or succulent if you wanted to. So this is number nine. Benton. Tammy, you're so much faster than me. <laughs> You're great. You're awesome. I so appreciate you being here today. Um, okay, so that was number nine. Oh my gosh. Number ten. I don't want to move too fast. I hope nobody's in a hurry because I'm too in a hurry. So number ten, since we're on the Fenton kick, I love Fenton. I don't know if these little pieces of candy are Fenton. I have three of them. Uh, truly not going to be able to hold. Oh, maybe. So here's all three of them. These are glass. Hand-blown glass candy. Somebody purchased these already on eBay and they have not paid. So they are up for grabs again. So these will be going for three pieces of candy, $9. So number 10, glass candy, whoopsie, as long as I don't break them, $9. That's for all three of them. I love these. I like the pink. With the purple swirl. The red with the blue swirl. And the blue with the green swirl. Super cute. Super adorbs. I'll set these right here because I'll put them right back in this container. That was number 10. Yes. Last candy. All three pieces. So here I have with some dust in it. The candy was a little dusty, you guys. I have a Stangle dish. So this is number 11. Stangle. I'll show you the back. And I'm going to start this off at 12. And again, offers. You have about five more minutes. That's, that's all right. I, I appreciate the time you were able to spend with me, Tammy. You're awesome. So I'll, we'll see how many we can get through. Okay, so again, this is Stangle 3785 on the bottom. And up here, it says Ed. Now, I think it's shaped like a piece of fruit. What do you guys think? Do you love that glaze on the inside? It's like reverse drip glaze on the inside. So this is Stangle, $12. And it, again, fits in the small box and is under that two pound weight. So Stangle, on sale, you can, on sale today for $12. Or make an offer. That was number 11. I'm going to put the candy back in the little bowl so I don't lose them. Mm. 
Maybe it's a nut-shaped bowl. I don't know. It could be. But I'm going to call it three. Okay, so number 12, I have a green wire insulator. I don't know anything about these wire insulators, except that generally they're blue. This one is green. And it does say something on it, and I'm going to start it today. Uh, $4. And it does, says New York Brookfield. So New York. And then on this side, it says Brookfield. It does have some cracking on the inside. I wonder if maybe it is a victim of lightning. It has a 12. Or a T. No, it is a 15. So if you look through it, it is a 15 on the bottom. I don't really know what that means. But yep, $4 today, green wire insulator. And I have another one. We'll do number 13. It is brown. Real quick, they are about three inches, three and a half inches. So number 13 is this brown wire insulator. And this one, too, looks like it was a victim of some sort of storm. It looks melted. Melded, maybe. Has a little chunk taken out of it. I'm not seeing any numbers. But there is a triangle. Nope, nope, that is not a triangle, Tracy. <laughs> a diamond shape on the side. So this is a brown wire insulator. Today, only $4. Oopsie, wrong. Um, I will set these off to the side. Number 14 is, this is a dustpan, and I want to call it a broom, but it cleans up crumbs from your table. It is hand painted. Check out that cute little flower. Um, made in... Well, well, I guess maybe made in Japan. It is very hard to see. But this is super cool. I'm going to start this off today at $12. Um, I'm going to call it a mini broom and dustpan. Tabletop broom and dustpan. $12. And again, offers are accepted. I wish I could see better. It's worn off in the back. But there is remnants of a sticker. And we'll set that right back down there. Um, what do I have here? I have this, this will be number 15. This is a bud vase, red and white. Um, we'll start this at $9 also. Ah, uh, sorry, if, okay, but thank you so much, Tammy, for all your help, and um, I'll chat with you later on. Have a good day. So this is number uh, number 15. A red and white ruffle top bud vase. There are no maker's marks on the bottom, but I believe that to be the Ponto mark because I see no seams anywhere. If you look super, super close, 
There's also blue and orange in there. So I'm going to start this one off today only, $9, red and white, red base, $9, red and white, bud base, $9. Make sure I have it all written in properly. And again, if you are interested, send me an email and I will send you an invoice. We are up to number 16. Are these two cobalt little glasses, little shot glasses? Maybe sake cups, air plant, succulent vessel. I believe they are hand made, hand blown. So these are number 16 cobalt glasses. And I will start them at $5. Today, $5. They are two and a half inches by an inch and a half. Um, they have, I don't know if you can, can you see that little, the pattern in it? Okay, so this one has damage. There. I don't believe it goes all the way through, but these are super cute. They are very pretty in a windowsill. So number 16, and I have to write it in there. Number 16, cobalt. Number 16, $5. Number 17 is this candlestick holder. I love the colors. And again, I love the glaze, brown, blue, creams, tans, very uh, rustic farmhouse. It does have a signature on the bottom. Again, this will be number 17. And we will start this one off at $6. And it is signed. Number 17. Signed candlestick holder. I just don't want to put this stuff away, you guys. It's getting harder, <clears throat> excuse me, harder and harder to find room. So this is right here in front of me. Approximately seven inches tall. Nice handle with the drip cup, catch cup, drip cup. So number 17, six dollars today on sale, pop-up sale. My email is in the description box below as well in, as in the beginning of the chat. Number 18, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys, start talking. Well, no, I don't, I don't think I ever stop, truthfully. But this is a vintage cigar trimmer. Let me set this down first so I can hold these. Cigar trimmer, they are like 
brass. Candle snuffer trimmer, candle trimmer. Um, scissors, truthfully, I don't know how you would use these as scissors, but that's what they were marked at when we found them. But I love them. There is no maker's mark on here. There's like three little feet. And this is the tray that it was sitting on. Oh, wait a minute. There is something written on the tray. Hold on. Um, maybe not. Maybe that's just schmutz up there. <clears throat> but you guys. So today, I'm going to start these off at $9. Number 18, $9. Um, cigar trimmer? Whoops, wrong one. I'm going to name it a cigar trimmer. And I said today, $9. And we take offers. Number 18, cigar trimmer and tray. I'm in all caps, you guys. Sorry, I'm not changing anything. I love this. I love these things. They're just, they're awesome. So again, it will fit in one of the small boxes and it is definitely way below the two pound mark. And that's going to make a lot of noise. So we are on number 19 and we'll stick with the tobacco theme. So, number 19, this is a cigar box. I think I spelled cigar wrong in my... Anyways, <clears throat> cigar box. But you guys, this is metal. Tin, metal, this is not cardboard. Cigar, metal. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm just the worst at this typing, especially one-handed. Okay, so it's a metal cigar box. And I'm going to start it at $5. And you guys, I will take an offer. I think this is super cool. It, it, could, be, it could use some cleaning up. I wouldn't mess with it. Okay, so on the front it says, the cigars herein contained were manufactured to retail at not more than five cents each. And are so paid tax. Tax paid. Blah, 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 blah. Ohio. Here's the back again. Oops, I forgot to hit enter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> And it's not like we have to worry about anybody competing with each other for these. And again, I have it on sale for $5. And it is way below the two pound mark. How can you run out of room when everything's still right in front of you? Okay, so number 20 is a Maxwell House coffee can. And I'm going to start this at $5. Let me set it down. Oh, 
number 20, coffee can, $5. Here's the top. It does not have its key anymore. But, you guys, it, it still has its top. That is unusual. And it's just, it's cool. Good to the last drop. So, number 20, Maxwell House coffee can. I'm not sure the age of this. Uh, what would you say? 50s? I'm curious to know. I would like to know. I have another one. Like I said earlier, I have another Maxwell House can and a Crisco can, but they are way out of my reach. <laughs> so, number 21. This is kind of heavy, and it will have to go in a larger box. This is a chicken dip bowl. Look at those colors. Aren't they gorgeous? So, number 21. Here. So red clay, it is glazed on the inside. So yes, it is food safe. So number 21. And dip. And we will start this off at $9 today. And of course, buyer pays shipping. It has a mark on the bottom. What did I say? Nine dollars. I will get. Made in Portugal. No chips or cracks. I love the pattern. It's like waves and a sun. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it reminds me of. And I love the pattern. This will have to go in a larger box. And it weighs. Oh gosh, over three pounds. Okay, chip and dip. So this will be closer this will be four pounds plus after it is packaged so closer to five pounds for this one but i like to ship usps so if it fits it ships it does not matter the weight as long as it's under 70 pounds yes uh yes the buyer usually pays a little more in shipping but it's worth it it is worth it Number 22. Let me get it written in real quick. <clears throat> Art Pottery Ashtray. This is beautiful. I'm going to start this off at $9 first. So number 22, Art Pottery Ashtray, Trying to get your measurement here. It is approximately 10 inch, 10 and a half inches long. So number 22, purple art pottery ashtray,
Number 23 is this clear glass candlestick holder. Look at those lines. Isn't that beautiful? And she sparkles. Um, it says, full lead crystal made in Slovakia. Um, no chips or cracks. And there's only one. And again, today, $6 candlestick holder. So number 23. Lead crystal candlestick holder. Six dollars. <throat> and this is a little bit heavy. A um, little over nine inches tall. And it is just under the two pound mark, 1.7. So, okay, so number 24. Moving right along. Here we have a Fenton ruffle vase. These are so pretty. This is a hobnail. Fenton. It's marked Fenton on the bottom. You make sure it is actually going the right way. And I'm going to start number 24 off at $12. So number 24. Fenton. Amber vase. Fenton Amber Vase, $12. There you go. No chips or cracks. This is beautiful. And again, Fenton is imprinted on the bottom. So number 24, Fenton Vase, $12. If there's anything you are interested in looking at again, let me know. I would be happy to show you. Happy to show you. Number 25. Let me get these written in properly. Okay, so before I get it in the chat, I will show it to you guys so you can look at them. These are made in Japan. These are art glass birds. They are blue. No chips or crap. They are slightly different on the eyes. Again, no, no tricks or cracks. So these are number 25. Art glass. Oops. Birds. It's not how you spell art glass birds. Set of... And I'm going to start these today 
on sale for $15. You can get both of them for $15 today. So send me an email. These prices are good. So today is Wednesday. These prices are good until, oh my gosh, should we do 72 hours? Send me a message. Send me an email. So, number 25, set of art glass bluebirds. Super cute. Small box. Under two pounds. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Move this out of our way. That way I know what I've already done. We are going on number 26. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so number 26 will be... Will be... We've already done that. Put these out of the way. Give ourselves a little room. Okay. So I have these chick shakers. Aren't they cute? They are marked Commodore Japan. They have their little stoppers in the back. Um, Surprise! Uh -huh, look, stop her. Yeah. yeah, gently, it does squeak. These are very old. The cold paint is coming on. Look at that. But, oh my gosh, they are adorable. So I'm going to sell these today, starting $12. Bird shaker set. Japan. Okay, so this is number 26. Uh, six. <laughs> Bird shakers. Sale price of $12. Oh, aren't they adorable? Simply adorable. I love them. Love, love, love these. So that was number 26. And we'll just stick around with the animal. These are number 27. Maybe. I will show you what they are. These are oil and vinegar birds. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh. They are simply adorable. And they have their little stoppers. You hold them. And they have Japan marked on the bottom. You guys can get these today on sale, $12. And again, they fit in the small box under two pounds. You write Japan on there, so don't forget. These, these are my favorite. My favorite. I just love these. Love these. And you don't have to use oil and vinegar. You could fill them up with balsamic vinegar and a raspberry vinaigrette. You could do whatever you want. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number 28 is this little teeny tiny garden pixie. Isn't he the cutest? He is marked... Occupied Japan on the bottom is probably upside down, but yes, no, no visible chips or cracks. It's, 
if any damage, maybe that ruffle right there. But you guys, look at his blue eyes. Isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, he's stinking adorable. So his hands are intact. He has not been repaired. He is number 28. And I'm going to start him off today. Let me write this down so I don't mess it up. Nine dollars. This guy, this little fella is in my everyday decor. He sits on my, uh, in my money bowl on top of a uh, money candle. And he watches over everything, bringing us good luck. So he can be your good luck charm today on sale for nine dollars so again i'll get this in the chat number 28 sitting pixie at nine dollars and again he is made in occupied japan You guys, send me an email. Don't be afraid to send me an offer. This is a sale. No prices are firm. I need to get rid of this stuff. We have so much. We have so we have building outbuildings that are loaded. We have got to get rid of this stuff. Send me an offer, please. So that was number twenty-eight. Getting my ducks in a row. Okay, so number 29 are the salt and pepper shakers. You guys, look, they're bobbleheads. Aren't they beautiful? Yes. Oh my goodness. I've never seen bobblehead salt and pepper shakers before. I love his black, his black outfit. Her orange. That, that could possibly be red. You guys know my colors. I have difficulties with my colors. And yes, they have their plugs and stickers. Commodore Japan. So again, number 29, bobblehead shakers. These are vintage. So beautiful. So beautiful. On sale, $12. So number 29. Bobblehead shakers. $12. I'm just making sure I have Commodore Japan written in there so I don't mess. Um, so I don't get them mixed up. You know, that would be horrible. Horrible. To mix them up and send the wrong thing. Let's put these beauties off to the side. Tape measure here. I know everything is like off to the right. Just in case you want to see that again. And that. <laughs> Okay, now, moving right along, please don't make a mess, Tracy, we are on number 30. You guys, we're, make, we're doing really good for time. It's been an hour and four minutes. Um, let me see. I really, I only have a few more things, a little more than a handful. Oh, no, wait a minute. I have jewelry, too. So we might be a little bit longer. I had some time to spare, so why not? So number 30.
will be this paperweight. Blue and yellow. I love, love, love the design in that. Is that pretty or what? So it has a nice polished bottom. I haven't found any signatures or maker's mark. And I'm like, oh, it has a nice polished bottom. Oh, that is actually a maker's block. I thought it was had a chunk taken out, but that is part of the mold. So, yeah, I don't see any signature, no maker's mark. But I love the, like, what would you call it? Would you call it a galaxy design? It's very pretty. So we will do number 30, paperweight, for today, sale, $6. Number 30, paperweight, $6. It's entered. You guys, when you send, if you send me an email with what you want, just send me the, the number of the item. You can give me a description if you would like. Okay. Um, number 31. We have an alabaster. And it has a sticker. Oops. No, that's the right way. Yellow alabaster Easter egg. This is adorable. So number 31. I'm going to start it at $6. I know. Alabaster does not have an F in it, Grandma Beans. Alabaster egg. Six dollars. Better write yellow because I have a couple more of them. Yeah, for your information, I have a few more of these. Alabaster yellow. Egg. Six dollars. No chips, no cracks, and it has its sticker. And you can get it on sale for $6. Number 32 is also, this one is made in Italy. House of Goble. It says, it's a very small sticker. House of Goble. This is super cute. So this is a small alabaster egg. Small and cream colored. And you can get this one for five. So number 32. Small egg. And again, it has its sticker. House of Goble, Italy. Number 33. We have two more eggs. So, number 33 and number 34 will also be $5 each. This one is a green House of Goble, Italy, egg. I love that marble, that marbling look. It is beautiful. No chips or cracks. So number three is green. Five dollars.
And we have one more. This has no sticker on it at all. This is just a plain green pen. So just green. Small egg. Five dollars. So number 34. Small. Let me do the other one. Small, small green egg. Small green egg. No sticker. Five dollars. We're doing good, you guys. Doing super good. As long as I don't mess anything up. <laughs> okay, here we have number 35. It is a trinket box. Hand painted. I think that's a lotus. Or maybe it's a peony. You guys, what do you think that is? Um... The bottom is made in occupied Japan. Inside. No chips or cracks. This is beautiful. I love the gold. The sparkles. It is so pretty. I love the um the purple. This is something I really truly would not mind keeping for myself. So number <laughs> I know, number 35, um, peony, that's what I'll call it, trinket dish, jewelry holder, uh -huh. jewelry box, and today we will start it off at $6.00. Any. Oh, hit enter. So again, this will fit in a small box, way under two pounds, and it's four inches by an inch and a half. Very dainty, made in occupied Japan. Number 36 is and this is a fireplace matchstick holder. Oh, it does not work. So number 36. Okay, we're going to start this at $6. It actually has matches in it still. Aren't they colorful? And it has a sticker on the bottom. And a, oh my gosh, of course it does. It's an ASCO. So again, this is a super cool fireplace matchstick holder problem it has a small chip here and a crack on the inside of the lid it has not been repaired as in it has not been glued back together yet 
but it is crap. You can get this today for $6. And again, we do take offers. We put this back off to the side. Anasco matchstick holder. Um, number 37. This thing is vintage. Oh, I gotta get the information written down. Okay, so this is number 37. I'm going to get it written in and make you guys wait. Anticipation. Nothing ever works properly. So I'm going to start this at $12. And this has got to be from the 70s. I have no clue. Check her out. Isn't she beautiful? She is. She It's perfect. Um, 1973. Janix Corporation. New Shrewsbury. New Shrewsbury, New Jersey. Made in Hong Kong. There is all the pertinence right there. You can hang it up. You could set her down. Battery operated if you desire. <laughs> we'll check it out. Isn't she cute? Um, you guys, you know, not that this, I just think this would be adorable cleaned up in a display in a, in a bathroom guest bathroom, not even guest bathroom, your own. Here's the on-off switch. I, because it is so vintage, she is simply perfect. Perfect. But I think you may be able to replace those if you want. Just to make it look better. But, I mean, really, it's, gonna, it's a display. And this is all original. It's perfect. All original. Battery operated. And she's still hooked with her cord. Battery operated, but electric. <laughs> uh, yep. I love her. I love her. She's been in, on display in the guest bathroom. So that is number 27. Raggedy Ann electric toothbrush. It is actually battery operated. And you can get her today on sale for $12. We're doing wonderful for time. Um, we're on number 38. We're on number 38. And it is. This glass butter or cheese ball bell butter bell isn't it beautiful cut glass so eapg early american uh pattern glass or pressed glass because you can see the seam and where it was pressed together eapg pressed or pattern glass it is taped together only because we don't want it to come apart. So this is number 38. I don't see any makers marks or um, signatures anywhere. But that doesn't mean there isn't one, you guys. Here's the bottom again. And this is number 38. And we're going to start this off at $12. So 
So number 38. Clear glass butter belt, twelve dollars. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm starting to sweat. I've been talking so much. It's crazy. Okay. So what else do I have? I believe I've got all the big stuff done and out of the way. So now I have some jewelry. If anybody is interested, I have an owl bracelet, and you can get him today for six dollars. So, number 39 owl bracelet, six dollars. Make sure I'm writing the proper stuff. Enter. Also, today only. Monkey pin. Um, six dollars. So number forty. Monkey brooch. He has all of these jewels and gems. Six dollars. Number forty-one. I'm sweating, you guys. Sorry. Number forty-one is another pin. This one is a clown, and he looks like he is missing a couple. Gems on his foot down here. So number 41. Clown pin. Five dollars. Because he is missing a couple of his little bulls. And here's the back. Again, clown brooch, five dollars. Isn't it cute? I love clowns. We'll stick these together so they don't get lost. And what else do I have? I have some rings. Whoops, it usually helps if you open your Yeti with you are dragon. I have a ring. Um, there are no, there's nothing stamped in it. So no maker's marks, uh, no silver mark or anything like that. But today, $6. I'm just going to put it as um, number 42. Ring. Green stone. Silver. And we are going to give it for six dollars. Let's, let's put a space in there. And it is it's a size seven. Yep. 
So ring six dollars. This is number forty two. Size seven. Oopsies. I have a peace ring. Number forty three, six dollars. Again, I'll show it to you then. No maker's marks. There. So number 43, piece ring, um, $6. This, oops, let's see what size it is. This is a seven and a half, seven point five. Uh oh, what did I do? Hold on, you guys. I forgot to. We're the green ring, size seven. I never hit enter for the number 42. So number 43 is a piece ring size seven and a half, 7.5. This is all costume jewelry, 7.5. And it will be $6. I will accept an offer. Oops, that's upside down. Sorry, you guys. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> so I'll set that off to the side. And here's another ring. This one will be number 44. And again, today, sale price, $6. So this is number 44. I don't know what this stone is called. It is very pretty. And, um... I don't see any anything on the inside, no marks. So we're just gonna mark it. Orange stone. Silver look. Whoopsie. This is again all costume jewelry. So orange stone, silver look, it is a six and a half. Six point five, and we will start it at Six dollars. Isn't that pretty? Um. 
number 45. You guys, all this jewelry, everything has been found, donated, or purchased in uh, jewelry jars. So it is all used jewelry. It is not new. It's costume jewelry. If you find a piece that is um, real, that is awesome. That would be awesome. So here's another piece ring. So I'm going to make it ring. Whoops. Green piece ring. And this one. Well, I can't believe it. We're starting it at $6. Okay, so let me show it to you. Isn't it beautiful? It has a green stone. Flowers. Peace sign. Um, again, there's no marks on the inside. So this is number 45. Green stone. Peace ring. I believe this to be a seven. And again, six dollars. We have another ring. This one is black stone and silver looking. I cannot find any maker's marks, no stamp of any sort, but this is a very pretty dainty little ring. And again, it'll be six dollars. So, number 46, black stone, silver, look, ring, whoops, ties, black stone, silver. This looks like it is a five and a half. Wow, you guys, I'm having difficulties looking. Silver, look. I had to get a little closer. I need my magnifying glass, which I do have actually right here. Size 5.5. Today, .5. you can get it for $6.00 while the sale is in effect. That was number 46. Um, what is, right. We have another ring. This is number 47. Starting at six dollars. This is a black stone with wire. So number, <clears throat> excuse me, 47. Black stone and wire ring eyes let's see what size it is guys oh it's eight wow it's small this is a three and a half 
It's a very, very dainty pinky finger, size 3.5. Dollars open to offers. Blackstone mother. Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze. Please don't sneeze, Tracy. Okay, number forty eight. We are almost done. This is an ear cuff. With a feather. A couple of gems. It cuffs around the ear. Up here. Anywhere. Um. I believe those are glass beads on there. I'm not sure. I don't see any maker's marks. So this is number 48 ear cuff. $9. Whoopsie. 48. Feather ear cuff. Enter. We got it. Okay. So ear cup. It is very pretty. Um, number forty nine. This is very pretty. It is, I don't know, it is a pink, I don't know if you can tell the color, pink opalescent looking, maybe it's called a cat eye, I really don't know, but, and silver ring, silver looking ring. Oop, sorry guys. Um, there is a mark of some sort on the underside here. But I'll never be able to show it to you. Um, so this is number 49. Pink stone. Silver. Look. Ring. Let's see what size it is. I believe this to be an eight, you guys. And because all the rings so far are going for eight dollars, I mean six dollars, we are gonna mark this one at six dollars as well. Enter. Pink stone. We have it on sale for six dollars. The next ring we have, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't know if you can see the fiery, I don't know what that is. It is so pretty. I wish it is an iridescent shine. Um, so, number 50, white iridescent stone, oh, I don't know, white, it's 
silver look. And again, we'll six dollars. I'm not sure what size it is yet. Um, Oh, you guys, I'm having very difficulties. Very difficult time here, getting things to type properly. Ring. Five. Six and a half. Gorgeous. Whoops, sorry, dropping things. Um, size six point five. I'm reaching over six dollars. And now, what do we have? I believe these are our last two items. How do I get them out of this baggie? Well, well, you guys. Okay. This one is gold looking. Look at that beautiful blue, diamond, gold. See if there's any makers, marks, stamps. There is something written on the inside. Okay, so number 51. Blue. I'm going to make this super simple. Blue and clear gems. Gold look ring. Size. Size 5. Oh my gosh, I should keep it. That's my size. Size 5. And... Again, six dollars. Oops, they're in a bag for a reason. Must be. And here's another one. I'm not quite so sure. I thought this was a belly button ring first. Kind of looks like it. But this little ball doohickey thing does not come off. It does not at all. So it's some sort of a ring. Super cute. Gold home ring so this will be number 52 and I believe this is our last item ball and bar ring size and it's six dollars and you guys this will be number 52 ball and bar Old look ring. It might be real. I don't know. It has markings. Size way. This is a size seven. 
This is a cool looking. Size seven. And this was in the bank as well. Okay. I believe that is all. That is everything. We had 52 items. It took me an hour and 46 minutes to go through all of them. Oh my gosh, no, I forgot. Number 53. Set. Set lines. I hauled these before um, from the Scavenger Brothers. They gave them to me. Aren't they adorable? The only thing, they really should have googly eyes. That would make them the best. So these are lightweight uh, resin material. And they have a little hooky on the back. I think these are flipping adorable. Just adorable. They both have their little flippies. Now, both of them, if you see, um, this one's cheap. Looks like he has a little wear right there. And this one looks like he has a little wear right there. But you can get these today. Whoopsie, let me turn them around. Today, on sale, $12. Lightweight, under two pounds. Let's put them back up. They're adorable. Um, so we don't have it written in. Number 53, Lion Ball. Um, wall hangers. <laughs> Set of two. Whoa, that is not how you do that. Set of $12. There we go. So I have everything written down. If you send an email, it, it, there is something you saw that you love and you just cannot live without, send me an email. I will be happy to send you an invoice and we will get these shipped out to you right away. Then I don't have to put it in stock. I don't have to put it away. You guys, that was my intention today was to put stuff away. And um, I thought I'd do a live sale instead and see how it goes. I want to say thank you to Tammy who helped me out in the beginning of our sale. Your help was so much appreciated. Next time I'll give you a little bit more of a heads up. And, um, and you guys, too, I will put a preview up. Uh, I just might actually throw a preview up and do another what sale in a couple of days. So don't forget, if you see something you like, send me an email. And I will type that in right now again. hippie in life at gmail.com um yeah send me an email if you see anything you like uh there will be links in the description box below to all of our stores so check us out on ebay poshmark mercari facebook all those wonderful platforms um and again you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me i truly appreciate it and um we'll see how much of this these treasures 
we can sell to you guys. Oh my gosh. You guys, thank you so much. Again, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.